In North America, where most of us are at least two or three generations removed from a farm, we don't really understand what goes into making the food that we buy and eat. We know that meat comes from animals, and those animals are raised on farms somewhere, but we don't often take time to think about the lives of those who care for those animals and raise them from birth. And if we do think about those farmers and the role they play, we might assume that they don't love those animals. After all, how could a person love an animal and then ship it off to market to be killed for food? I love the lambing part of it. That, that's my, my passion is, uh, you know, watching those lambs being born and, and to have good, healthy, strong lambs and ewes that love their babies and like that's what I'm proud of. You know, the, the, the experts, in quotes, say that agriculture is a business. You have to run it like, like a business. But there's, there's more to it than that. There's an emotional input uh, that people don't realize, you know. If you're an accountant and you're looking at numbers, you know, that, those animals out there are just numbers. But they're not to us. They're, you know, they're something quite a bit more than that. This year we had a ewe that um, came down with uh, pregnancy toxemia. She was, you know, we thought she was probably carrying triplets. And, you know, we, tr we tried everything. We, uh, you know, trying to increase her calcium and phosphorus, trying to increase her energy level. And she lay down and couldn't get up. And she finally, she went into labor. We had to pull them because she was so weak, but we got three beautiful lambs out. And uh, anyway, and then the next day she died. But it was like she lived until those lambs were born. And, um, and it was, yeah, she was, um, you know, and so, yeah, we ended up bottle feeding them and um, putting them on a bucket. And, um, you know, you, you want these lambs, these ewes, these animals to have the best life they can and you provide what you can for them. And, uh, yeah, maybe it's, uh, you know, you lose more hours of sleep and that maybe you'd like to have, but, you know, it's worth it. It's a great feeling to see those lambs jump up and start drinking and, and then seeing them go out onto pasture and they're jumping and kicking and happy. You know, some of them you only have for a short time. You know, they, you know they're going off to market. They're going for meat. So you may only have them three, four months or ten months. But of that time, you want to make sure that they've got the best life they can have.